Hello guys, it's Janos. Today I'm going to show you how to reuse your old uh, laptop or desktop equipment uh, at your company if you have Citrix environment. What we're going to use, we're going to use a small Linux distribution for this. Uh, it's called TinyCore. You can freely download it and uh, install it on, onto your PCs. Um, it's available online. I'm going to um, actually include all the links just below the video. Um, now, uh, if you're going to um, burn this ISO file you download uh, onto a CD and boot it up, you're going to be presented with this screen, what I have on now here. Uh, I'm obviously using it at the moment. I'm in VMware, so I'm just doing a virtual installation. Um, not going to go through this uh, menu here because uh, what we need, I really want to be quick with this, uh, what, we, what we need here, we need a GUI and an installation extension. Uh, let's just let's just install this. Um, I mean actually let's just boot, boot, boot this up because it doesn't actually install straight away. We will have to actually do the installation um, from when it's working from here, from the GUI. Um, at the moment it's obviously running from a CD. Um, it's presented with a really easy uh, docker here with the most basic uh, Linux um, icons you can actually Linux applications you can actually run here as you can see it's pretty basic so you get a terminal control panel uh, an editor uh, an application downloader uh, you can run programs you can mount your uh, USB stick or hard drive or equipment and uh, uh, we've got, because we actually selected the installation extension, we've got the TC install here, which we have to actually run. Now this will actually install uh, this um, system on our hard drive. What I'm going to do, I'm going to use the whole disk because I'm not going to install anything else on here. And uh, this is our hard drive uh, core, uh, the disk uh, SDA, that's our hard drive. That's where it actually has to go. Now if you're going to do it, do the installation like me in VMware, then uh, you will have to select IDE instead of SCSI for the hard drive because TinyCode doesn't actually um, doesn't actually recognize uh, SCSI. So uh, if you do it with a SCSI, what you're gonna see it's gonna you're gonna have uh, SDA missing from here. So you're gonna have FD0 and SR SR0. Um, okay, so that's fine. Let's just go ahead extend ext for it's perfectly fine uh, I'm going to take this option in simply because if you are actually installing live onto your laptop um, that's gonna make your laptop um, a, a wireless Citrix client which is really cool I mean uh, probably your users gonna be very happy with that and then proceed do the installation you will see that it's it's actually done pretty quickly, so um, I think the whole installation is about, I don't know, it's less than 100 meg. Um, the installation ISO is about 60 meg with version 4.7, I think this is. Uh, so um, this is a pretty quick installation. Um, and um, as soon as it's done, all we need to do is just reboot it and uh, boot it up from the hard drive to see uh, if you have actually succeeded with it, it's installation completed. Let's close this down and reboot our system to see. Uh, <coughs> it's it's a very useful, actually, it's a really useful system, um, and it's it will work really really fast on even the oldest hardware you have there. Um, because it's, I think, the minimal amount of memory you need to for this. Uh, it's about 64 meg. I'm not sure if it's if it's with a GUI on or off, but um, it's about 64. So I think it's about with with 256 megabytes of memory and like a I don't know, like a 500 megabyte hard drive or a one gigabyte hard drive is going to be perfectly fine. Now you can see it's booted up. Um, the installation icon have changed to Wi-Fi, which because it's a virtual PC, it actually found, finds, finds no devices. 
but if uh, you have a wireless enabled laptop it's um, it, you, you're gonna be presented with this little menu where you can actually select your wireless connection um, right uh, in the next um, tutorial I'm going to show you a script which I've actually uh, created for this uh, for the whole installation. Uh, I've simply simply done that because I needed to install TinyCore and this build onto more than one laptops and uh, manually it wouldn't actually make too much sense to actually manually do uh, the whole thing. I'm going to go through the scripts, show you what needs to be installed even if you just want to install it on one PC um, it's worth to actually create these scripts because it's gonna you know you never know and it's you know it's a, it's a good experience uh, anyway um, right uh, what you actually have to what you will need is you will have to have a connection for uh, an internet connection for being able to download the extensions for the system um, if you click on apps here you can see that it's trying to find it's going to try to find the fastest mirror which uh, let's see what we're gonna have here right uh, it found the site and if we click on the cloud and browse we're gonna have all the extensions uh, we can install onto the distribution here so it actually works here now um, if you're installing it onto VMware make sure that you use uh, NAT uh, for your for your network and not bridged bridged is working but it's really system specific so try to use NAT because that actually that that will probably work better right uh, I'm going to come back with the second tutorial uh, and uh, we will install Citrix Receiver and uh, complete the system. Thank you very much for watching. Hello everyone, here we go. This is the second part of the tutorial, how to create a really uh, lightweight Citrix Receiver client uh, out of our old uh, desktop or laptop. Um, I have already created a couple of scripts and uh, downloaded the necessary applications um, for the installation um, I'm going to include a link uh, just below the video so you can actually do the same everything is saved into home slash TC which is the home folder for TinyCore uh, we've got two RPM packages uh, three scripts one of them is going to install the necessary applications the second one is uh, the receiver setup is going to set up Citrix receiver and the save it uh, script I'm using to actually save the backup file um, because every time you reboot the tiny core um, it actually forgets uh, your modifications so we have to actually save the settings before we we, we do a reboot on it um, the first file we have to run is uh, an install it which which is a really a simple script what it does is downloading um, and installing the necessary extensions and applications um, pre-installing the Citrix receiver and um, it actually copies the wallpaper the JPEG into opt backgrounds uh, where the background files are actually stored um, the second one which we will have to actually run is the receiver setup huh. <coughs> right uh, what it does it actually uh, logs into the home TC folder, uh, unpack the uh, two RPM packages, um, configure the links for Citrix receiver, and then actually launches the ICA client. Um, and it will copy the launch.ICA, which Fiverr actually created as well, um, into XD into the XD folder, hidden XD folder. Um, that file is for uh, 
launching Citrix receiver on boot. So um, what it does literally is um, when you boot up sit, uh, boot up your tiny core, it uh, launches your Citrix receiver window, and when you close the window down, it actually shuts down your computer. Um, let's have a look at it. How the uh, launch IC looks like. <coughs> So it actually launches Citrix Receiver and shuts down the PC as soon as Citrix Receiver is closed down. Um, so it's a pretty fairly uh, simple script. And let's see, save it. The save it SH is actually saving uh, the file to tool SH and backing up all, all, our, all of our modifications. So next time we reboot, actually we're going to be uh, able to use what we have actually configured. Um, right, let's launch install it this SH and uh, crack on with the installation um, because it's located in home TC SH. It's downloading the necessary applications and installs them. Okay, the installation just finished, so we can crack on the second script we need to run, um, which is the Citrix receiver setup. So let's fire this up. This script actually launches Citrix receiver and um, and it actually created uh, the boot file in the XD folder so now if we actually reboot the PC it should um, fire up um, Citrix receiver on boot now let's see um, let's just save it uh, and the save it that sh will actually reboot the uh, the build as well and then we can see how it how it works so slash home slash tc slash save it dot sh so this is actually saving the my data dot dgz file which is our backup file and that loads on boot and um, as soon as the saving is done it's going to reboot the uh, build and um, the system is rebooting now so we'll see how it uh, how we succeeded with this so checking for extensions it will reload our my backup file as soon as the extension check is done, I've got a USB um, um, device actually plugged in at the moment, so sometimes it's a bit, it takes a bit longer. So we have Citrix receiver installed. Um, it launches on boot, and um, if you close the window, uh, it will shut down the PC. We also have Firefox installed and the Wi Fi connection. A uh, couple of more things to actually do before we finish is set up the wallpaper which we initially copied into the opts backgrounds directory and um, I would actually uh, remove all of these icons from here because obviously you don't want your users to actually uh, click on any of those so uh, if we go to tcvbar.conf and then just remove everything apart from the exit button or maybe you can actually you maybe you can actually leave Firefox on as well um, that will create a simplified look uh, the Citrix receiver configuration obviously depends on how your company is set up uh, so you can do it yourself and um, one more thing that uh, before you actually shut down the PC, make sure that you save your settings into my data. 
So um, slash home slash dc slash save it dot sh. That's going to save all the settings. Uh, if you have already done Citrix Receiver, um, then uh, make sure that you that you do this because next time you reboot the PC, if it hasn't been done, you will lose lose all the, all those settings. So let's just save it and see how it's gonna come back. Um, if you need any more help with um, how to set up the scripts, uh, I'm going to actually um, probably include a download link just below the video to um, to uh, to the scripts I've made, but you can type them in yourself. It's 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 fairly easy to do. Um, let's just wait until the system boots. Here we go. We've got our own Citrix receiver thing client running in TinyCore. Um, I'm going to show. I'm. I'm still going to show you how to actually, if you're not really familiar with scripting, um, if we, let's let's just create um, a, a, just a test script. Sh. Um, And say, let's say, let's say, echo, hello, hello, all. Oh. Um, let's save this. So that's the way you have to actually create these install receiver and save it uh, scripts. So we've got the test.sh here now. We just have to make it um, executable because at the moment we can't actually run it. Uh, the command to do that is ch mode a plus x test dot sh. Oops. sudo c ch mode a plus x test dot sh. There we go. We got the test dot sh there. So if we try it, test.sh, it says hello. So that's how you actually make the script uh, executable. Now, um, yeah, let's just remove this. Um, all we need is two RPM files, three scripts, the launch.ica, don't worry about this linux.zip because that was actually uh, all these scripts zipped up uh, before I've actually uh, copied them onto this uh, this build. And the wallpaper, obviously, um, it's a customized wallpaper, so you, so you select whatever you want. But um, as I said, I'm going to include this zip file uh, down below um, the video so you can actually download this and then uh, that probably make makes things easier. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please comment and like the video. Thank you very much for watching.